Hello, Josh Thomas here in the dining room because we're still operating out of my house with our second video for Evangelism 18 on the Daily Office Network. Last week I announced that we are asking for a budget of $100,000 this year, a whopping 150% increase over last year. Why is that? Well, first, we are 13 years old and for the first half of our existence we didn't accept donations at all. But we grew larger and larger anyway and now we're about 7,000 members across four major platforms. In internet terms we're tiny but in Episcopal Church terms we'd be one of the biggest parishes in the United States. In that case a hundred thousand dollar budget for a parish of 7,000 would be miraculously low budget. Of course we're online only. We don't do bricks and mortar. We're more interested in clicks than we are in bricks. But our electronic expenses therefore become very low. Only about two thousand dollars for four premium websites, almost six hundred live webcasts a year, and our own daily office radio station here online. Every year we receive up to 400,000 visitors making us as popular a destination as the National Cathedral. Now perhaps it seems an odd comparison to you but we hope like cathedrals do to make every visitor's experience a little glimpse into heaven which is one of the things that people go to physical churches for. We try also to involve your senses so that you can see and hear, not just read, what is holy. A 15-minute podcast or a 30-minute video even song can offer a real spiritual refreshment. Now it's 2018 and we need to institutionalize what we do to hire more staff so we have backup in place when one person goes down. You know, once a church put us, puts up a building, the biggest expense is usually personnel. The altar expenses are minor. And what the church is paying for is the people who act at the altar to lead us in prayer and help us make sacraments. At the daily office, of course, we only make prayers, not sacraments. So we're a complement to your local church, not a substitute for it except in those cases where we are in fact a person's primary contact with the people of God because of illness or isolation or alienation or just a matter of scheduling. If I get hit by a Bud Light truck in front of the county courthouse, which could happen, we'll need to pay somebody to replace me and we'll need to pay them a professional salary which is going to be more than the four hundred dollars a week that I'm paying I'm getting paid now. We need to guarantee that someone sticks around and does this work for us. Plus I need an administrative assistant in the worst way. I can't keep up with seven thousand people. Nobody could. In 2018, we proposed to get me to $14 an hour or $30,000 a year and to hire a half-time assistant at $12.50 an hour at the same time that many of our members are publicly backing a raise in the national minimum wage to $15. Well, we want to get there, but it may take us a while. If we're going to hire an assistant, we need an office for them to come to a professional work environment. By the time I die or retire, we need to be paying our vicar the diocesan minimum, whether it's clergy or lay. It's about $45,000 in salary alone. And even that is a pittance if you cost out how much it is per hour. Here, we also need a Christian media specialist, a producer who can make us look and sound better than we ever have. We could use that person today. Just at today's level of traffic, much less future growth, we should have four full-time staff to write and edit, produce and administer. We would be properly staffed today at the $250,000 level. 
Well, I don't ask that we get there all at once, or that it all come from our members, because we need institutional and corporate support as well. But I do ask that we achieve the diocesan minimum for the vicar by 2020 and be fully staffed by 2022. Here's our daily office 2018 budget breakdown at $100,000, which our mission board will be asked to approve in December. As your vicar, I recommend that we make 2018 our breakthrough year. As you can see, we're asking $30,000 for the vicar, $12,500 for a half-time administrative assistant, and $24,000 for a half-time station manager. With minimal fixed benefits, personnel costs are $83,000. Office expenses eat up $8,700. Our online service providers cost us only $2,200 and that leaves $6,000 at $1,000 each for our six mission partners. When we started we could only afford $2,400 a year for mission so we're glad to see that number go up. It's children fed and educated and it's nurses trained. I said earlier that our goal here is to give every visitor a little glimpse of heaven every time they come. Some days I feel like we achieve that gloriously. An image takes our breath away with its beauty, or a word gets said during a webcast. A hymn or an old gospel song just knocks us out. Something graceful happens that strengthens us in our relationship with God and helps us lead our lives the way we should. Now sometimes those glimpses are just that, little bitty flashes of holiness in the context of our everyday liturgy. Sometimes they're longer lasting and help us become ourselves. Well, we need our focus wider now than one little lay vicar can provide. A church that speaks with just one or two voices isn't much of a congregation at all, much less 7,000. So we have always been about empowering and enabling more voices, your voices, and the results so far have been thrilling to me. Listen to one of our webcasts sometime. They're not for everybody, but just come once and discover why our regular members come every day and never want to miss it. It's not because of Josh, it's because of all of them. See, people who pray the daily office as part of their way of life, they reap so many spiritual benefits from it, and they share them so readily that they attract more people who want to hang out with them and learn from them and pray with them and for a half an hour a day live in this weird little online internet community thing that is somehow as real as any community has ever been. So the money, you know, that's just a means to an end. That's why Jesus told Peter to just go get a coin out of the mouth of the nearest fish. It was so inconsequential to him. He could take seven loaves and feed 5,000 people. Well, that's kind of what we've been doing with a $40,000 budget at the daily office. It goes a very long way. It feeds a lot of people. And yes, we do gather up wonderful leftovers. But this is also true. The better we make Christ's message look and sound and feel for today's audience and tomorrow's, the more people will come to get it. I believe and we believe that Christ is the medicine of the world. That has never changed. It never will change. Christ is the medicine that millennials are looking for, along with everybody else. Well, to serve them, we need to broaden and grow. That's why we're asking for your financial support in 2018. We have good news. The mainstream message of Christ that is broad and moderate, theologically conservative, yes, and socially wide open, 
and we've had a little bit of success so far in spreading that gospel. Now help us get better at it. Thank you, and God bless you.